to do we live on a Wednesday early afternoon where today I am joined once again by the amazing Tony Harmer. Oh, hi, gorgeous T. Hello, mate. Thank you. How are you? <laughs> I am well. Thank you very much for That's asking. How about your good self? Uh, I'm pretty excited because Max is right around the corner. And a week away. But before oh. we do that, we do actually have another really fantastic stream coming up, which is the Spooky Game Show. And yes. uh, spooky indeed, because it will be all about Halloween, even though it's not Halloween quite yet. But you know, Max is happening, so we can't do our stream during that week. So I thought that for today, we could also swap our normal music or chill up for some, uh, some spooky music. So let me just start... Yeah. I don't know, this track. It didn't want the Bavarian one, so let's do, try this one. Very yeah. sneaky. Anyway, um, today is going to be all about illustration. And Tony, you have prepared something for us. But before we get yes. there, let me just give a brief shout out to the chat because we do have wonderful people joining us. As always, we have in the chat. Hang on, let me open it. Oh, yes, there we are. Angus and Annika and Caroline and Dan and Elevation Allah and Jack. Hi, Jack! And Jackie Hi, Jack. and Jane and Kirsty and so many other people who have joined the chat. As always, thank you so much for joining us. We are chatting on Behance. That's be.net slash Adobe Live. I can show you it. Can I? Apparently, I can't. Oh, well. Behance.net slash Adobe Live. Join us over there, say yeah. hi in the chat, and um, yeah, let us know where you're joining us from. So, today, illustration yeah. in Photoshop, yes. I see. So, shall we just yeah, um, yeah. hop on over to your screen and see what's going on? Yeah, let's do that. Right. I've got a there sketch go. ready. Got a sketch for stuff. Promoting Wonderful. our Halloween game show. Which is this Friday. Very cool. This right. And we will need your help, by the way. So make sure to tune in. Or don't. Yes. I'm not your mum. <laughs> I like it when you write that in the stuff for meetings. It's really good. Ah, oh, excellente. Um, yeah, I've got a little movie showing uh, me putting this or showing the sketch coming together in Foresco. Shall I play that? Yeah. So you can see me doing the drawings and making decisions. And all that sort of stuff. I do love these little time lapse things. There we go. Giving some form to the main pumpkin, the frame breaker. Ooh. And, and some fancy lettering. Fancy. <laughs> we tried to reinvent fancy yourself lettering. apparently multiple times. There we are. Yep. I'm still not happy with that. I'm still going to make changes in a minute. In just a minute. They're going to be. I've looked at it and thought, mm, I'm going to change that. I'm going to change that. These were half tone things that I decided not to do just yet. Yeah, we're really going back in your career before you became the um, astronaut, background dancer for Madonna, and of course, the world famous rat tame expert. Uh, there we are. Wonderful. All yeah. right. So, where do you I want to take this? I thought we'd actually go. What do you want to I'll take, take myself today? backwards to go forward? <laughs> I thought that's what that's what I'm think that's my thinking because back in the day, back when I had little else to care about other than did I have paper and fine liners and pencils, that would be it. That would be all I'd care about. If I'd got those things, I could actually make stuff. But um, there we are. 
And nowadays you have to and care just... about operating systems, Wacom drivers. Yeah. yeah. The guy who's sitting things. next to you making weird comments, I know. Yeah. Yeah. All of that stuff. All of those things to worry about. FOMO from all the other stuff. But we're really doing Halloween and making it scary this year. I guess all we need to do is draw a, a triangle, a square and a circle. <laughs> We're sorted. <laughs> That's um, going to be the number one costume this year, I think. Yeah, I was hoping to get, mm. you know, this uh, mask of the front man for the game show, but of course, well, you can't. <laughs> oh, the the thingy head. The, um... Yeah, the, bl the black one with the polygons on it. Yes. Because yeah, that yeah, one really yeah. looked cool. I didn't care about the others with the circle or the triangle, but the front man, that was I've cool. Got, um... He was sort of the game master, and I would have been the game master. But yeah, you can't buy any. That would have been good. Oh, well. That would have been good. Could have done that. It would have been very handy. Right, I'm going to get started then, I guess. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make some changes. I don't want that bit just there. I want to. And Oliver says, "Is that Netflix thing people keep? Is it that Netflix thing people keep talking about?" Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. It I is think, that Netflix. What's it called? Like people Dolphin Game? Uh, <laughs> no, that was something else. Hang on. The Squid Game. Ah, that's it. Yeah. Such, such it's, a um, name. I'll tell you what, lovely, um, lovely titles, very clever. With the the way that the Korean is blended into. Um, Gee, Tony, someone should make a title show image. about that. No. Yes. <laughs> Doing that. Uh, call it the Octopus Game. Oh look! Wow. <laughs> there we are. Nosh, I think he just insulted <laughs> us. I don't know what that says. But... I'm not sure either. Looks rude. <laughs> so, whereas I had this thing earlier where, where it was sort of making a big fang or a, or a kniffy, I figured I'd actually um, I'd join it up to the S, just there. That's what I thought. So that's the first, first adaption I'm going to make. The second adaption I'm going to make is to get rid of that. In fact, that whole block just there so let's go ahead and grab some uh, stuff and get the right lasso so who have we got in the chat i saw oliver in there, we have in there. also andreas in the chat who has decided to mention almost everyone <laughs> just using the whole text message or the character limit to mention everyone who could fit into that so hi andreas Hi, Andreas. But Stuart says I'm here, so I'm not sure if he's here. Ah. Could be a bot. Who knows? Stuart, are you there? Type Flugelhorn in the chat, quick. And blink twice. We won't see it, but just do it. <laughs> the whole gang is here, he says. Yeah, that's right. I'm looking forward to Friday, you know. Mm. Tremendously. I have been working on some new games. And of course, some really? that you have you may or may not know from previous shows. One, to be right. precise. Just one. Okay. And Ooh. there will be some uh, some XD, at least from my side. Yeah? Some quizzes. I like the sound of it already. Yes. And of course, uh, the final game will be uh, vital for your eye safety, so do bring protect protection. Oh, God, because Maddie's in it. <laughs> It's Vital funny because you can't defend safety. yourself right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so um, going back to the actual um, topic on hand, at hand, um, you are now sketching the outlines for the lettering. Yeah, I'm going to do that on top. So back in the day, of course, this should have been loads of pencil and bank paper, laying bits of bank paper on top of each other and taking through whatever and then just making stuff with it and then getting a marker pen fine liner and whatever um bits of um stuff that i've managed to get my hands on and using that do you know what i mean by that do you know what mechanorma halftone but i noticed is? you um you didn't uh, draw in blue your sketches because, you know, then they no, don't no, show up when you scan them in. 
How do you? How are you supposed oh. to get rid of them right now? Right now, they're they're going to disappear anyway because I'm going to be putting them on another layer at the top. But I'm still just just making some things happen just here. I wasn't quite happy with the way that the word show went on the end there. I wanted to change it because I was thinking at one point of branching out in another direction. No pun intended. Well, actually, loads of pun intended with the tree shape from the side there, so that that W was hanging from that. And Sandrine is asking, are they like lettuce set half tones? Yeah, they are. Yeah, exactly that. So you would there are self adhesive sheets of half tone, mm. and you would you would basically put drop them on the light box on top of the artwork, and just and go around very carefully with a scalpel and cut them out, and then lift them and then drop them onto a sheet over the artwork for half tones. It was. It also, was so they're not transfer, so you don't just rub them on with them. No, those Thing. ones or mechanormal ones used to stick down. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Still I wasn't alive some. back then when that thing was. <laughs> you were not. You were not <laughs> even. You were not even the thing that was thought of, Tim, at that particular time. Uh, it was a good way, old days. Way, way before 2002. You yes. <laughs> 2002. And we do have some folks joining us who yeah. speak some sort of language that unfortunately I can't read. So, Lin Lin and other folks, Ooh. if you. If you can speak English, that would be wonderful because we'd love be to very uh, nice. Yes. We'd love to follow along with your conversation and you can participate. Who knows? Yeah. It seems to be Chinese. Uh, it does look like Chinese. Yeah. If we only do half of half tone. <laughs> What's it called? Still a half tone. Uh, not a quarter tone. Still a half tone because uh, just is. It's just a different frequency to the others. So I'm very curious about this. Um, uh, hmm, here we go. Ah, right. Okay. They're they're asking largely about cracked versions. <laughs> okay. There you go. Very good. I should work in my chair. Excellent. I'm not, not good yeah, so back in the day, Tim, back when at the beginning of, of my path in this business, the um the main vehicle of uh, of delivery of posters like this would be a photocopier. So you couldn't just do you couldn't just do a like a grey wash on something because everything would turn to black. Uh, so you'd have to go ahead and uh, and do it and do you know what that could be pointier that could be pointier that could be pointier i'm gonna i am gonna shade that just there at one point i thought i was going to do um gonna do a face on it i did think i was gonna bend the tree into a face like this and i decided not to there we are but like I said, I decided not to. <laughs> I'll leave it there just for the minute, just in case I change my mind again. Right. I just read, Steve, read Steve's comment. The sting operation has worked. We caught two. Yeah. I never understand why people <laughs> openly discuss things like this on an Adobe stream with actual Adobe employees. Like, oh, no. Huh? It's brilliant. Why? Just brilliant. I know, I know, I know. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, Jane did ask earlier, actually, and I saw that. Sorry, Jane. Did it come from the swirling depths of my imagination? Yes, it did. At 5.41 a.m. this morning. Because I did have a different idea, and then I binned that. I thought, no, I want to do something that's um, that I can learn from. And I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm going back in the past to learn something from my past. With, of course, the advantages of the future. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I am going to switch colours here so I can just make some indications and I'll drop a new layer on the top. Typically, if you were doing stuff like this, right, you'd have to um, you'd have to steer clear of the edges for a photocopier. Now I don't have to do that because it's not really going to be photocopied, right? But this is what the lines are around the edge because normally I'd have to do. Mm. Something like that 
but I like things that break the frame. So that's why the moon, because you've got to have a full moon on Halloween. Obviously. It's just there. Also, the moon offers some form of diagonal balance with the pumpkin. Everything else is designed to pull you down into resident bits. And there's like a Maddie and Tim pumpkin uh, just here that I'm going to work on in a second. But hopefully that makes sense from there. And so I'll crack on. And we do have... That. No pun intended. <laughs> Oh, you. Uh, we do have a question from Annika. Yeah. So the next question is, when ideas... Yeah. Oh, I'm scrolling up. When ideas uh, like this strike you uh, when you're in bed, do you get out of bed and draw it immediately or do you take mental notes? Because, you know, sometimes when I think of like a great idea and I, for, for a while I used to write it down like, ooh, wow, this is such a great idea, usually for a song or something like, ooh, yeah, let me write that down or hum it into the microphone. <laughs> um, and in the morning when I, when I actually was awake again and I, I listened to it back or I looked at the notes, I was like, what was I thinking? This is utter garbage. <laughs> so do you ever do that? Do you write something down, get out of bed or just you go back to sleep? Yeah. and uh, I get out of bed. I get out of bed and I either it sometimes if it's not that you know if it's just thing think oh that might be handy at some point in the future I'll just note it down in notes on the phone um but if it is something I've really really got to try as my wife would attest to I get up and I go and do it <laughs> yeah, but that that doesn't count for the people who are monitoring my sleep hygiene at the moment that doesn't count it's, there. it's not like, a regular thing yeah so we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Tony actually comes up with the words of the day. He was just... <laughs> golden age of ballooning. <laughs> There's an app you can use to monitor when you talk in your sleep, just in case you can learn anything from it. Yeah, And something like the golden age of ballooning would not be <laughs> too far from what, what comes up in mind sometimes. And Stuart says, most of my ideas come when I'm cleaning my teeth. You know, I just take them out and put them back in again. <laughs> my vampire teeth, of course, you know. Vampire teeth. Of course, uh, later on today, I've got to start my travels on uh, to um, Castle Grafenstein, where I'll be on Friday. Ooh. That's going to be so, exciting. No, you know, a real set, no green screen. Yeah. Unlike me. No, real, no green screen. Because I'm Not cheap. All. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you see how this is shaping up? Does it look right? It's looking wonderful. As long as you're painting on an extra layer, not the same one. Uh, no, I'm actually working on the sketch layer here. This <gasps> is fine. You're crazy. It's fine. Oh, and we're getting I, extra spooky music. Oh, nice. I obliterated part of my skateboard. You know that skateboard I've been painting recently? Yeah? Yeah, I obliterated no. part of it today because I wasn't happy with it. The, oh. um, I can show you. It was a thing. I was trying an experiment with it. I'll show you. There's. Can You, you should just about be able to see that. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. It looks it looks great from from this distance. Yeah, no, I changed I changed my mind and I obliterated all of that texture that I put on it. So I've just got to wipe it. Oh wow! On the thing. So there we go. If I go backwards a bit. Ooh, very nice. I'm gonna have to and crack on with that because that needs to be resined next week. It needs to be finished and then resined. Do you know? I can see some similarities in the in the. Um motif of the, the skateboard with this one no well that that was the thing i changed my mind okay. on i was going to do a more elaborate painting based on the on the skateboard thing just to work but i thought no actually i'm going to do something that's more less polished more fun when i say less polished i mean it will get to a certain level of polish also, I've just because I've gone there on my camera roll, my reference pictures are pumpkins from my house. There are pumpkins in all the cupboards at the minute. There we go. <laughs> so some little ones just there. Yeah, there's some of these in the hallway 
right? And there's even more hanging around underneath those as well. Loads. I've got something like 14 to carve next week. It's crazy. Yeah. I saw this um, great video where people have carved some pumpkins and they added like a hole in the bottom so they could wear the pumpkins and they were running around with it. That was great. The, <laughs> well, we've, we've been manufacturing um, a pumpkin or two down at the studio to, um, to put outside the studio. Well, we've got a couple of things going on, but one of them is to put them outside the studio on um, Halloween. Being used in a short movie and um, then the rest of them are going, then they're going outside for Halloween. One of them is nearly a meter across. <laughs> oh dear. So, and you could wear that uh, one on your head. That'd be quite funny. <laughs> Not sure if I could fit. What's Sandrine saying? Uh, Sandrine says the problem with pumpkins is that you have to eat them afterwards. Well, yeah. yeah have some, to. Nice, some nice roasted pumpkin seeds. Lovely. Yeah. Very nice. My soup. I do not mind the pumpkin seeds. I'm not mad for pumpkin soup. I like a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> I'm very keen on that. Um, but there we go. So let's try and get this uh, mouth shape going up here. And I think this one is going to be the Maddie pumpkin. How do you know it's the Maddie pumpkin? Because of the nostrils. <laughs> okay, should have preached. <laughs> You'll appreciate that. And she joining us now, that, Maddie. Hello. <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Maddie. That was one of the things she said to me first off was um, she remarked on her nostrils. Nostrils are fine. She goes, they're not. I threaten people with inhaling them if they upset me. <laughs> but if she comes at you like this. <laughs> Maddie always laughing. By the way, which is good. Such a good egg. Glowing bright green color for Maddie. There we are. Yeah, she do love the color. How is Maddie? Um, better and she will join us on Friday. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise, it will be a very short uh, game show. <laughs> and I will win by default. <laughs> Who knows? I'm not so sure about that. Because then you we would play against We could always pick me. just a random... No, we just... Um, We'd have to make, uh, we'd have to make, if Emma is around, we'd have to make Emma play. Or maybe Melanie okay. or Julia. Julia, who knows? Julia would, um, would, would, would do that. But I'm sure Melanie's fine. Otherwise. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be fine. Right, there we go. Something like that, I think, would be good. Uh, what else was I going to do? Let me just fit that and reset the view. Yeah, okay, that's that's kind of marked out enough for... Whereas I do not like that tree so much, you know, but I think I'll go with it anyway. Uh, let's obliterate this bit next. Caroline says, play against us. Uh, well, you know, as always, you will also play a role in the uh, game show. As a chat. Oh, yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. Towards the end, actually. Uh, yes, yeah. Maddie was ill, but that was like three, two weeks ago, so she should be fine. <laughs> I'm preparing for screenshots on Friday then, yes. Three new games and one that you know. Oh, Rufus could join. I haven't seen him, but he's busy with Max. You know. Oh man, he this time of year, you know, it's crazy for him. But, but speaking for of like Max, um, we have Ooh, to have we got a word our, from our sponsors? Yes, we have to thank our sponsors. So Yuya, why don't you tell us more about that? Everybody, this is Yuya, and this year I'll be walking to Adobe Max. I'm on my way, and I want to invite you to my session October 28, where we're going to talk about all the updates of Adobe Illustrator. Hold on a second. Hello? Hi there. Oh, hey, Rufus. What do you mean it's remote this year? There we are. <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's 
sorry, sorry. Dude. Yeah, who's this Max everyone is talking about? Yeah, it's actually Adobe uh, Dave, but they renamed it because Max sounded cooler. <sighs> Where did Max start, though? Where did it begin? It's like ages ago. Mm. It's a long time ago. And it was, uh, it was Macromedia. To start off with. Well, I know where it began it for me, and that was 2017. Because that's when Adobe Live happened. <laughs> of course. I don't need to worry too much about this thing here. I'm just trying to think about a good window shape. No, I kind of like that shape there. I only want the shape because the rest of this is going to be in silhouette. I'm going to have a couple of things that have. Oh, yes, of course. And uh, if you want to register for Max, you can use discount code pumpkin pie for 50% off. <laughs> Which is still free. Free. Surely 50% of free on a number line would mean it's going to cost you money. No, 50% of zero is zero. Okay. 50% off. Adobe will pay you. <laughs> well, actually, that's not too far away from the truth because we do have sponsors for Adobe Max. And if you're lucky, you may or may not win a t shirt or something else from the sponsors, who knows? So it's really a great idea to participate. It's free, it's online, it's good for your health. No, it's not. But for your mental health, it is, because there will be a puppy cam. Oh, yeah, the puppies. Love the puppy cam. Love it. Is that uh, the Castle Greffenstein in the background you're working on right now? It is. That's how it comes I'm, I'm, I'm drawing it so quickly because I don't know exactly how it looks and the angle it, it leans at. So, yeah, I have a bit of a um, little bit of resolution to do here. And by that, I don't mean anything about DPI. I mean resolving a problem or two. Um, you're talking about the wizard who, won, who was refusing to leave the tower. All of that stuff. We've got to have something in there to give an idea of scale. That uh, is a kind of escarpment thing just there. Escarpment. It's not really an escarpment. There we go. And these are the things I have to resolve with cool air and the tone. Um, might not have that thing on the side there. Mind you, like I said, it was kind of cool. I'm gonna try and keep that. So I was only halfway through the sketching thing, obviously, this morning, but I thought it'd be fun to see me working this yeah. out. We usually see a lot of coloring in and final process when people have already finished their sketch, and now we can see the other side, which is lovely. This is, yeah. I thought that that'd be kind of more it, really, you know, yeah. just to go ahead and do a bit more of that. I can um, I can whack this on Behance, not Behance. The other thing begins with a D. Discord. Um, Dehance. Dehance. We can dance. We can dance. Everybody, look at the hands. Feeling dance. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'll keep those bits on the side because where the tones are. But anyway. Ahead and get a more accurate idea of that bit there. And if you're just joining us, uh, do come on over to behands.net slash Adobe Live. Once again, that's behands.net slash Adobe Live. And I think I have a link which you can barely read at the bottom of the screen. That's great work, Tim. Uh, but there it is. <laughs> Yes. Perhaps I can move it up. Yes, I can. There we are. There's the link. Join us. Oh, join man, the chat. Um, 
stroked it on the outside. I don't know why I suddenly went to inside there. La la land. Good. Nice, quick plug of coffee. And that's okay. why working in Photoshop on the desktop with a Wacom, probably, is such a great yeah, way to uh, draw because you have all the power of Photoshop. If you just want to quickly warp something or create a mask, that's easy to do. Whereas in Fresco, that yes. sometimes can be a bit tricky. Sometimes. Not saying that it wouldn't work, but you know. Yeah. Okay. I think that's about ready for some inkage. I think I can work with that. And Lin Lin in the chat asks, Halloween. Do you have yeah. any Chinese speaking friends, Tony? Uh, yeah, I do. I do, but not here. Um, my friend Ting Ting is from China. She is a um, doctor of physics. And she's incredibly clever. Like mega, mega, mega clever. She did her thesis on disruption patterns in breaking glass. She told me all about it on a train journey once. It was really cool. Um, I've got a few friends who are Chinese, actually. I actually have been collaborating with uh, with her. You know, I dropped all the glasses and she did the research. <laughs> she, um, yeah, she's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Just a quick um, save on that, which, of course, if it was a cloud document, I wouldn't have to save it. Um, but anyway, it's not. So... Uh, now the choice I've got here, because this layer is actually set to multiply, um, is I could drop that back to where it is just about visible, which is normally a good plan. Sometimes as well, if I was going to stick to the only working inside the boundaries thing, what I might do is do something like this. I'm going to just get the lasso tool. Mm -hmm. Um, set to polygonal mode and then just work my way around. So let's pretend this is the sort of thing I might shade in from the sides. You know, the student union at Hitchin at North Hearts College years ago, which I didn't actually officially go to, um, but it, their student union was absolutely full of my posters for a few years. What do you mean they couldn't get rid of them? <laughs> No, I was just, oh, just, he just put us another one. Oh, it. fine. <laughs> Chuck it on the fridge. There we are. Yeah, I oh, know. Good oh, <laughs> Lord. No, oh, wonderful. I'm, I'm still surprised every time you reveal something about your past. Is there anything you haven't done? Yeah, of course. Lost the game show, yes, right, of course. Yeah, lost the game show. There, is that. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, haven't lost the game show yet. I think, didn't I lose the first one or something? Did I, Or did I win that? I can't remember now. Well, both times Maddie um, had to get the handicap for the final game, so I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, that will, that will really, really, really bug her. Because she is mega, mega competitive. Well, I've, I've, I've thought of some new things that should hopefully trip you up, so... Uh... Oh, confused. thanks. Oh. I think, thanks, I think. Uh, some do you need notes. me to explain what I'm doing right now? Does people, do people know what I'm doing? Nah, we don't care about explanations here on Adobe you Live. We're just okay. here to watch Pretty Colors. So yes, please, please do explain. Okay. Uh, no, I'm in, I'm in the, I'm in quick mask mode. Um, I made a selection with the polygonal lasso, uh, which would be my kind of boundary. I was just showing you how I might establish a boundary and thinking about it while I'm still in here I don't like that corner so I am quickly going to make a selection there like so any reason for the green color yeah. in the quick mask mode as opposed to the uh, because black. the last thing I was working on the last thing I was working on was red oh, so go. red wouldn't work it wasn't terribly conducive to me seeing uh, where the quick mask was so that's why it's green at the minute so there we go i would make a selection something like that i would then come out of quick mask mode and then i would add a solid color layer 
like this. Now, on Monday, when Yulia was on with Nicholas, this was one of the things, because Nicholas was getting a regular layer and filling it with colour to do mm -hmm. things. If you didn't catch that stream, by the way, you really should. But he was doing that, filling it with a colour, which meant he had to keep manually make, you know, do it, making choices. The reason I do this is because I can go ahead and fill that with whatever colour I want at the moment for the purposes of working like that. And if I ever need to change it, all I need to do is double tap on the icon and just change it. I don't have to go hunting around for anything. I just think it's a useful thing to have. As it happens, I really only want this to be just a little bit grey, just at the moment. That's pretty clever. So I've got something to work on. I just think it's a handy thing to have. Yeah. I mean, you know, the tools are there. Tools are there, use them. Um, right, so now the question is, what brush to use for the ink? Because there are so many. Just close uh, your I eyes think... and pick one. <laughs> pick one. Yeah, well, actually, I'm going to choose hard round pressure size. So I already know which one I'm going to use. 15 million brush choices. Which one? Yeah, so you pick the standard choices. one. Yes. No, they're only in there for when I. Kyle's great, and I love his brushes, but all of those brushes are in there for. He's sad when, he's um, it here. Like, oh. He's so lovely. And sometimes Such appears on the French streams, you know. It's speaking fluent French, which is very good. Another quality that I can't compete with. Me either. As Frank Pyron would um, would tell you. I can only say je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. I can say a little bit more than that, but I too, but I can't say that on to... stream. <laughs> it's to be mean to my brother. Do you know I need to pick another but so there's um my I'm a I've got the Cintiq uh studio arm yeah. in uh in my studios. This one here is the first one I bought. And because I was a bit worried about the thickness of the desk and the weight of the arm and the Cintiq, I bolstered it by putting a breadboard between in the clamping device. But the, the thing with that is it raises the Cintiq up so it doesn't touch the desk, which is something it's actually designed to do. So I have to get a book and put it underneath the corner so I have something to drop my elbow on. <laughs> and what is your book of choice for that? Uh, uh, today I was using Four Colour Fear. Nice. For that so that's what i was using today but i think what i'm gonna have to do is get something weightier and so, so i think i'll no i'll leave that there i am going to use one of these i'm gonna use the poster of visual history that's what i'm gonna use i just use some acoustic foam you know just anything to rest my hands on. Yeah, it's great. It's kind of tricky when you're doing the drawing stuff, though. I'm still not getting what I want from that. All right. We do have about 45 minutes ish. Okay. Tony's book collection, yes. Uh, Needs a stream. Okay, Stuart. What you do is you just come over to your to, to, um, Tony's Grafenstein's uh, castle. And you just knock on the door three times. Try not to fall into lava mode. And uh, then you can have a look at the collection. So that's how it will work. I'm not happy with that. The, um, the book collection's got to move. In fact, Chloe is... Uh, doing the inventory as we speak. So the whole, everything has to be, has to go onto the inventory um, for insurance when it moves, because some of the books are quite expensive. I've got three behind me that are, worth, that are 300 pounds each. Um... This is crazy. Sandrina's asking, did you link the canvas rotation to the wheel, provided that your no, has one? No, I didn't. Actually, I don't use my, um, I don't use this too often, the express thingy. Um, 
I don't. No, I just do it using the uh, using spring-loaded keys. So rather than tapping R, rotating the canvas, and then tapping B again for the brush, I just press R down, which gives me temporary access to the rotation, and then just release it, and I'm back into the brush, which is just a bit quicker. So, because I'm all about that sort of stuff. Yeah, Uma Khan is saying three hundred pounds. Yeah, that's quite yeah, a heavy man. book. They, um, I'm surprised that you can lift yeah, it up they, in the first place. They yeah. are actually quite heavy. They are really, really big. And there's um, the history of EC Comics over there, which is probably the largest book I've got. So, and I don't know how much that is actually. It's, nowadays, it's. Um, It was pretty pricey when I bought it. Because those whole folio edition things, they, they go real quick. And then their price just goes up and up and up. So if you miss one that you want, then you have to go ahead and uh, do it. Also, uh, I'm going to point out that I would, if I was in the other studio, rotate the Cintiq around which will make it easy for me to work but I can't do that here because I've got the screens for the streams and everything else on the top oh I'm streaming again next week streams. Tim well you are yeah before Max though <gasps> I am and not at a weird time of day so not at like midnight not Wait. at midnight no where can we find that stream? Uh, if you just check my Instagram, you will find all of the details on there on Friday. At Tony Harmer. Yes. Do, 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 do. I like the music. I like the ch spooky choices today. I think you missed the Bavarian, Bavarian milking song, the one you complained about earlier. I didn't complain about it. I just said, why is it Bavarian? You said, music? don't play that one. I <laughs> think that counts as complaining. But fine, fine. Oh, I did actually say that. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> who do we know who's Bavarian? Who have I just offended massively? Please tell uh, me it's not Melanie. And Melanie is Austrian, uh, isn't she? I'm, I'm in Munich now, so... Technically, I am Bavarian. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> you know Very sorry. Is. Very sorry. Anyway. That's okay, I won't they invite want... you ever again, and the game show will be extra tricky for you on Friday, so that's all right. Yeah. You're going to make things difficult for You will have half the time, so, and I will sometimes just disqualify your answers, you know. Just one go, of the things... Oh, I didn't so, like that one. <laughs> here's... This is the thing that I used to love doing when... So what I'm doing now is I'm just adding some additional line work here just to indicate faces turning, right? So planes turning away from the light and I used to do this all the time I used to get told off for it at college why are you adding those extra sort of Byzantian lines or whatever it was so, I don't know they just like work them. for me it's yeah, some I sort like of them. a bit of shading yeah it is and that's what you'd have to do because you'd have to well color limitations can actually be strangely liberating so can I just pull another book off the shelf? Do you mind if I can find no, it? I, can, I don't I think can I can stop you. So, yes. Well, bad. that's true, yeah. The, um, that is true. Oh, well, I can't find it at the moment because everything's moved around. But I've got oh. a book which is all about limited colour palettes. Work done with limited colours, so like special inks and things like that. Those kind of things. Well, I would have just opened another message from a sponsor, so if you need the time, but that's all right. No, 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 we're good. Good. I'd rather just carry on drawing. I don't, are they that enjoying this? Yes. Yeah. They're saying it's a nice way to show the texture using a line. That's right. 
So just adds just a little bit to it. And it's it. all in the detail. That's right. And Craig says, Craig Porter, I tend to work with limited knowledge. <laughs> Don't we all? I tend to work with the cursed knowledge. <laughs> That's the... That is actually a thing. There's a thing where if you know so much stuff, it's actually easier for you to trip up sometimes because you think, oh no, that definitely won't happen. And what you'll, you know, and then something does happen. Yep. It's because you're failing to, um, you're failing to appreciate it for what it is. You know, it's just a. When you tend to get a into a routine of, of uh, work and you think, ah, oh, it's going to be fine, and uh, it suddenly isn't. Yeah. You know, I used exactly. to, I, I know someone who does streams for a big company, um, for a creative company, and they do like weekly streams. And yeah. sometimes he just forget, just forgets to turn on the audio for the guests when they start the stream. Oh. And then, luckily, he notices within a couple of seconds. But then, you know, you think he has done this for hundreds and hundreds of times, but still, so it messes up sometimes. <laughs> Is that person me? No, I think, I think his name is Ron. No. <laughs> it's me, isn't it? No, it's me. It's Ron Timahin. Tim Ron, no, you know what I mean. Tim Ronahin. Don't, 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 no. Poor, poor Ron. I was just... That was so bad. And do you know do you know how that came about? Go on. Tim. So Yulia messaged me and said, How do you say this guy's name? And I said, To be honest, I've never met him. I don't actually know. But what I did, I need to change the line weight of all of that bit just there. Um what I did was I look, I took, I googled him basically and found a video of him and Gareth Campbell. Gareth Gavin Campbell, you know my friend Gavin. We had Gavin on, yeah, with us. Um, he ought to come back. Actually, he's great, Gavin. Um, but anyway, I found it and and that saved me because of course Gavin. Um, Gavin pronounced his name, and so I went back to uh, Yulia and, and said, I called her and said, it's Ron Timahin, Tim Ehin, Tim Ehin, yeah. And that just gave me some sort of earworm thing that when I spoke to Tim, I called him Ron, and you said in my ear, <laughs> I called him Tim, rather, and you said, <laughs> Ron in my ear and I, and I suddenly realized I went oh my god I'm so so sorry but of course by then the damage had been done <laughs> it's the most important and, word in anybody's vocabulary <laughs> and as always I mean you are his I think the only person who still thinks about that I'm still, I'm pretty sure Ron has forgotten all about that <laughs> well I would hope so but I'm not banking on it so if not we're going to yeah. remind him <clears throat> um nope I was hoping to see him at the photography show, but oh, yeah. and I was looking out for him, but I didn't see him. So, you know. Now, do I keep the face or not? Also, there's something very, very wrong with uh, that tree we in ask the this chat? region. Just you can ask the chat. So, Chad, what do you think? Face on the tree, tree on the face, face on the tree. Do we keep it or not? Wall on the floor. <laughs> We'll give you a couple of seconds to respond because we know there's a delay in the chat. A slight uh, the, delay. I'm, I'm actually ready to draw a face if they want to. Yes, keep the face. Well, there you face go. Away. I think that's a resounding yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Cool. Keep the face. Keep the face. 26% more face, please. Yes, there we are. <laughs> What is this? Facebook? <laughs> Changing their name next week. <laughs> now, 
actually, you know, here's something. When I was doing think I've got a thing about tree do it drawing trees like this. And what I would do is to add some extra texture to it. Is I'd go ahead, I do not hate that bit, just say I've got to get rid of it in a second. Um, I would go ahead and um, just sit there sometimes because, you know, I was young and I didn't have to worry about time <laughs> and all of those other things. It's like, yeah, whatever, you know. And um, I used to sit there and hatch away like this. Right to add some texture, and I, I did that on the skate. That's what I did on the skateboard, but it didn't work. I did it, so I'd sit there and do something like this. Yeah, but in columns, something like that, almost over the entire tree. Okay, and uh, that's something I could actually have a. I, I thought about this just when I was obliterating the bits on the skateboard. I thought, oh, I wonder if I could do that in Photoshop, actually. Got some cleaning up to do here as well. Of course, back in the day, Tim say, this would have been um, Tipex or Whiteout, as you may know it, uh, which is very difficult to get hold of these days. So, let me just reset the view. Uh, I'm going to make, I'm going to do it on another layer because that way I can get rid of it. I'm not going to bother naming it. Steve says, make a pattern or a brush. Yes. Just yeah, back in the that's day. That's pretty much what I'm going to do. You cut out some of the paper and define a brush set and then you can paint with that. Yeah. There's something like maybe that. And grab it. And define a brush preset. Oh, you're actually going to do this? Uh, okay. Yeah. I thought this was just a joke, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, I am going to do it. And presets. I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it Terry Hatcher. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before, actually. I've got one of my brushes that I made in Capture is called Terry Hatcher. That's because I really like Terry Hatcher. You know, something wrong there. You, I don't think you can quite see it, but what it is is picking up the background. And it'll just turn that Oh, off. because it isn't pure white. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'm going to run that again. I'm still going to call it Terry Hatcher. Just in the off chance that she's watching and thinks, oh, Tony's naming a brush after me. Again. <laughs> it's not going to get old. Of course, immediately right. I'm trying to think of new puns that could have Hatch in it. Lords. Lords. Uh, right, so I've got that brush. Now I need to get to the brush dynamics because if I use it at the moment, it's just going to do that, which is very interesting. Nailed it. Yes. Also, it's super, super massive. So I'm going to get into that old brush engine and I'm going to change the size. And then I'm going to change the spacing. Then that angle. Actually, it wasn't too bad where it was. Let's try it. That's the thing. It'd be nice if this had a little. If this was a test area uh, down here, that is just way like more in uh, Fresco. Just like in Fresco. Yeah. And Steve That's says, good. "Guaranteed, so, there's a Kyle brush for this. I don't know, maybe with oh, yeah, over eighteen hundred brushes, uh, there ought to be one of them." Before you can find that yeah. one, why don't you create your own? So that's much easier. Exactly. Of course, I'm realizing that we are right in front of that panel. So let me move our camera down. Oh, sorry, man. No, that was me. There you go. Something like that, you know, roughly is is good. Now, what I really need to do is go back and adjust that spacing so that that's, there you go. That's much more like it. And also in the shape dynamics, I'm going to add a tiny bit of angle jitter because nobody draws that regularly. Let's just see. There you go. Just 2% jitter on there. That looks much more like it. So I can now, because I've actually drawn that on the inkage layer, and get rid of it. And of course, that's something I wouldn't have had back in the day. So I'm going to add another layer beneath 
the current one. Sounds like a client. Can I have two percent more anger, Jetta, please? Yes, please. Make the logo That's bigger. Yeah, yeah. Ding dong. So now I could go if I wanted to. Oh man, that's too small. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try something a bit bigger. Um, uh, that's not too bad actually. Maybe just a shade bigger. There we are. Yeah. So I basically come in and just do this. Really, I wouldn't need to do it around the whole thing. I could just go down the edges like that. And bring some in across a few places. And if you really want to get into it, you can of course create a dual brush and add more texture to that, or you can mess with the, um, the scattering, or you can play with the texture. So all of that is yeah. absolutely possible with the brush settings. I can't remember if we did yeah. uh, a brush street. Yes, I, yes, of course we did. I did yeah. one with Maddie. We talked a bit more about that. Going through all the brush settings in the panel. And creating our own very our very own Adobe Life Bacon Water Brush. <laughs> the one and only. So good. I should have Gareth changed something Williams, about the direction. Fashionably late, as, as uh, usual. He's a busy boy, though. Well, at least he... It's Gareth Hanks in as well. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, at least uh, Gareth Williams joined us. Unlike some other people. Gareth. Oh. Hanks. Anyway, the, uh, Gareth Hanks, who lives up in the lakes, or that sort of neighbourhood, was saying to me on the stream the other week about... Um, Oh, it's on the other way. Um, saying to him on the stream about me coming up to the Derwent Pencil Museum to do that uh, movie. We got the approval on that yesterday. Not from Derwent, but from their budget holder. So, off up there doing that. You see, that does need a bit more of that stuff. It needs way more. It doesn't need it to be completely covered. But if that was really going to be convincing, not convincing, you know, because I'm not trying to aim for photorealism, just some texture. Right. And I'd need to wade in a bit more, but I don't need to sit here and do that because I can do that before I put it onto. Uh, and now we're going to sit here and watch Tony draw every single line again, just to make sure it's in the <laughs> right place. <laughs> individually. In I'm individually going to do those things. Absolutely. Right, let's do some, um, some lettering with a different brush. I think I might try one of the inkbox brushes just for giggles and just to show Carl that I do love him really. Um, yeah, quite, let's give that a go. Yeah, it'll work. Right, so typically, well no, that needs to be bigger. Typically, I've noticed you're not working with any brush smoothing. No. Nah. I want more blue lines. Like Halloween. That. I'm crazy like that. I'm crazy right now. <laughs> no, I want it to be wobbly. It's Halloween, so I'm meant to be. No, well, 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 I would say there could be a difference between the brush having some texture and your stroke being wobbly. But of course, if you uh, want some nice imperfections. Well, you know what? I'll go, there we go. I'll put some in for you. Oh, thank, gee, thanks, Tony. It's right, man. <laughs> Doo -doo. So this is a habit that I've had for ages is overdrawing things like this and then because back in the day and you've probably heard me say this before you would do this on a particular kind of board and then you'd go along with a scalpel and clean it up sandrine knows what i'm talking about that much i know for certain probably oliver as well but yeah 
just go and overdraw the things and then just so that way we end up with nice clean lines but of course this is not a scalpel nor is it a bristol board cs10 very good darren yeah. knows bristol board yeah. caroline yeah angus edward I'm surrounded by people who actually know what I'm talking about. I'm surrounded by old people. <laughs> Just kidding. I, I see old people. I see old people. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Deliver him. Uh, we had that song earlier. Have to find more, I guess. But I like that one. We did not off yet. Uh, there you go. Okay. What? Well, it's actually unfortunate because if you just happen to nod off when you're watching the stream, you can't stop it anymore. So free views. <laughs> You mock um, Angus. <laughs> uh, I mean, if it helps you guys, we can put the stream in black and white. Maybe that's, you know. And Steve says we had a Bristol board in primary school. Right. I have no idea what really? a Bristol board is, so I have to um, bing that one. Right, Bristol board, Tim was um <laughs> Tonypedia. Let me Tony please Pedia. tell me more about Bristol Board. Bristol Board, Bristol Board was um or is because you can still get it. It's um it's a drawing surface, so like card basically, but covered in a fine layer of clay, a very, very fine clay. So it would accept lines, it wouldn't they wouldn't bleed outwards. And yeah, they'd all um they all stay all nice, uh, and you could scratch away the surface of the clay. You had a bit more clay underneath to work with, and airbrushing for me as well. I just saw the word airbrushing. I have Ooh. still got a Deville B Super 63E in a box in the other studio. Look who just joined us. Who is it? Gareth! <laughs> His ears must have been burning. Gareth. Yeah, it must have been After burning. Effects? <gasps> Gareth, you should watch the... Um, there will be a pre-show, just only five minutes before the stream starts on Friday. You should watch that one. No, we were just... Um, praising you, Gareth, as always. Don't watch the replay. Um, I was just saying... <laughs> how handsome you are. <laughs> we're just saying how lovely you are. I was just saying that uh, because we were waiting on the uh, on the approval for the um, to go ahead and speak to the Pencil Museum people about sorting that out and I got the approval yesterday. So that's game on. Game on. And uh, oh, as doing... a reminder, just quickly before you can say that, because I see some people are joining us on YouTube. If you are joining on YouTube, do make sure to come on over to behance.net slash Adobe Live. Join the chat. Say hi. The link is under the stream. And uh, we'll see you there. Right. So, sorry. You were about to say? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> the, um, no, I was just saying about the... The... Um, the pencil museum stuff. Ah, I see. So that's that's game on. That is now. No, I was also going to say that obviously I'm not trying to letter this perfectly. I want it in the same way as I want the lines to be a bit wobbly and scratchy. It's, I want it to be a bit, a bit runner, but without um, without going down the route of you know, dripping liquid and all of that stuff. Don't want any of that business. 
don't need it. We don't want it. We don't need it. And Kurt says, how neither of you have seen my face when you can't say whether I'm handsome or not. That's what you think, Gareth. That's what you think. Yeah. Look behind you. No, they sen <laughs> Sensei is remarkable at... Uh, <laughs> get pictures of all of the users <laughs> that's actually not true uh, 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 don't don't be going around thinking that oh my god yeah no need to cover your camera we can put, no we need to put you. super glue on you on your webcam P pinky promise no need to glue that up man i remember somebody at adobe doing that with um on their corporate machine i thought what are you doing if you feel the need to obliterate your camera like that and also, you know, whiteboards behind you, perhaps. Hmm? If you have a whiteboard with secret information behind you. Yeah, I know, but we we weren't allowed to weren't allowed to have cameras on them. We had, to, we had covers. We had little things, little plastic things that went over the top. Oh. Yeah. No one outside our WhatsApp group or Zoom calls have seen my face. No, that's what we think. That's what we want you to think, Gareth. Anyway, uh, we do have about 25 minutes until the end of the stream. So now we're, you're lettering again. And I've seen, I can see a lot of uh, similar shapes and bats coming up. You do love bats. Yes, I do love bats. I, I can already see three, four bats behind you on your camera. Uh, yeah, there are. Uh, there's a, a Batman one. Just a stress toy. Um, one from one <laughs> of my friends. This the Adobe Live. Amber, she picture. gave me that. Amber gave me that. This one was uh, a dog's toy, but I didn't let the dog have it. <laughs> <laughs> I kept it for myself. Thought you were buying something else. So sometimes when the day is long, Tony just likes to take it and chew it on a little bit. Can you tell? <laughs> Keeps the teeth clean and the jaw muscles happy. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm just going to depart from that thing. I'm just going to very roughly just make something slightly different this time. I'm just going to go more regular with the letter forms all of a sudden. Stuart asks, have you ordered Batman socks yet? Of course, other superheroes exist. I've put them on my list, um, Stuart. Thank you for the send. I'm going to be quite honest with you, though. Um, I have to wear uh, I have to wear special socks. I had surgery on one of my legs, and um, part of the part of the deal with that was that um, it's given me restricted flow in that part of my body, so it's not great. So going with the flow can be tricky. Going with the flow can be very tricky. Now, I'm actually going to put the apostrophe in there. <gasps> Why? Because it should be in there. People don't use it, but it should be in there. Uh, huh? <laughs> what? Am I missing something? No, oh, no, it's true, man. But isn't that like the in the wrong place between the two E's? Really? No, no. This is Hallow's evening. So e Hallow even, whatever, however, even, even, however it said. Can't remember. But no, it's supposed to be one. Look it up. I'm not, not, not messing with you, man. You've got access to the Wikipedia. Go do it. Oh, there you go. 
other spellings before Halloween included hello-e apostrophe en and hello apostrophe hello with e apostrophe en used by Tony Hama and other old people. There we are. You're right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sorry. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right, that wasn't exactly where I wanted it to be. It still isn't. It's better now, but it's not exactly where I want it to be. This, of course, would have been something else I wouldn't have been able to do back in the day. Move the transformation point and just rotate that around into into where I do want it to be. So. Yeah. Lots of friends in the chat. That line oh. there is super, super thick. I'm going to have to resolve that okay. later on as well. <clears throat> yes. But hey ho. Right, Are you planning on uh, colouring that in? Obviously, not in the stream because we don't have time. Uh, how long we got? What, 20 minutes? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> if we speed up the music, then Tony will we, we'll work twice as fast. I'll work even quicker. All right, okay, I'll come back down to the pumpkins then. I'm going to, I'll add all the other bits in, get it up onto, I'll do it tonight and get it all up onto the thing, you know, Friday the 22nd of October, at midday, Tony yes. and Maddie doing the thing, doing the game show stuff. Steve, I'm laughing at a German do it questioning English grammar. I'm not questioning Eng English grammar. I've just never seen Halloween spelled like that. But Tony's right. It is indeed the correct correct way to spell it. This sounds like a very anime music right now in the background. I don't think that's the spooky music. <laughs> like a sitcom and next week on Adobe Live <laughs> Tony is back All right. Maybe. hi folks welcome to the cool cats room it's a weird mix between surf music and uh, fun and scary but I guess that's pretty much Adobe Live. A weird mix of everything. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've mentioned before that I actually worked as... What on earth was that? No, it's one of my bats. Um, I actually worked as a Halloween toy designer for House Martin in the States back in the 80s. Around about 1988, I worked for a toy concept development company. I used to do the concept visuals for different products. And in the early part of the year, I used to work on Halloween stuff. It was great because I'm someone who likes Halloween anyway. And um, yeah. Halloween is great. I used to do all of that stuff. It's a great time of year that was. We used to have a massive, great um, inflatable Frankenstein in the studio. Brilliant. Like the monster or the doctor? The 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 creature, yeah. Oh, okay. The creation. <laughs> I mean, why do you have a doctor in your studio? Uh, <laughs> why is he so big and handsome? I don't know. <laughs> and hello, Biona. Welcome. You missed nice a lot of great... My best uh, friend. Missed a lot of great illustration and sketching. And bad puns and rude <laughs> explanations. And joking about people's age. <clears throat> yeah, technically not allowed. But anyway, moving on. I don't care. It's all in good spirit. Haha, <laughs> spirit. It pleasure. is all in good spirit. Oh, no pun intended with the old Halloween stuff. I really do like the uh, the extra lines you add. Um, the sort of sort of shading. And I can't possibly understand why the university people wouldn't like those. They are texture. They are like Honestly, like why are you adding those extra lines? Why what you know 
why don't you do you know x y or z and i was just like because mm, i want to do it this way because i like it yeah. it's my thing and steve is agreeing is saying the pumpkins look awesome thank you and the bunnies no more uh well no don't say that please today thanks don't say that my bunny um daisy died last week unfortunately <laughs> So. Oh, sorry to hear that. I hope we have a full house for the game show and I hope that some of you are going to be um, doing dressing up. At home, take photos, post them to the Discord. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Why did my audio suddenly change? I, my lug holes. I haven't I changed anything. Mm -mm. It was just my AirPods that suddenly changed the audio. Very strange. I must have just accidentally tapped something or... Yes, Steve, know, that means you have to wear pants. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you can wear a skirt if you want. I don't judge. Oh, God, it's time for me to super glue my camera, isn't it? What? <laughs> <laughs> Which one of them? Which camera? Uh, whichever one I'm using. <laughs> it's like, called oh, a kilt. Some... Yes, sorry. Whatever you say. Yeah. Um, and Annika is asking, what was your favorite part of the process being a Halloween toy designer, Tony? Well, the ideation stage, definitely, 100%. And then um, then just watching something go through um, go through model making. So what, we used to work with um, a company called Rudik International in Hong Kong. Um, and they used to put together, they used to source the model makers um, so I'd send over oh sketches and after a period of time we would get, um, I mean, we're talking like weeks, we would get a model come back um, for a proof and then there'd be all these technical sheets that I never really had to worry about. I used to look at them and just be curious as to what they were about. But they were... Um, they were things like data for spray masks, you know, for how things were going to be painted in the production process. And they really, really interested me. But there was, no, you know, it wasn't like I could turn around and say like, oh, I'd like to learn more about those. It wasn't an option. I was already, I was creative and production manager. Um, but that was only in the, only in the creative side. So production on the, um, tooling side was down to Rudik. I had to look after the freelancers that came in and read um, read CVs for people and all of that stuff. So they come down and that I can remember one distinctly from a bloke who in his CV, right? So this isn't this is a graphic designer and illustrator. His CV said, have kept and bred tropical fish since 1970. <laughs> and I just thought there's a compelling reason to get you in for interview. <laughs> we were just too busy. Oh, man. I have no idea what, well, I mean, I only have my best friend worked there. I, I know. Um, yeah, it was lovely. Surely you're joking. Holly. I'm not. And don't what? call me Shirley. <laughs> um, G 
Julie Robertson as well. Julie Robertson, if anyone. I wonder what happened to you. And for people in Nottingham, because I know some people in Nottingham that watch the stream, it was on Pilchergate. So up on the, just on the edge of the lace market. 16 Pilcher Day on the corner. There we go. I can pop a few more in there. This one's slightly different. I'm not going to bother with the, I was going to put leaves on. Well, I don't think we have time pumpkins. for that. Only 10 minutes. No, we can't. 10 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, my sort of can do in 10 minutes, Tim. Come up with a whole new project. We do have presenters in Adobe Live, like Paul Tranny, who can come up with a new project in one minute, and they happily do so just before the stream ends. Luckily, we do have our buffer minutes, so we don't have the Behance Time yes. Banhammer. That cuts us off if we overrun. We'll come back to that in a second. So I think the thing that makes these kind of rooftops are these little ornamental lightning spike things that get on there. I'm gonna actually cut that off because I can figure that out shortly. I'm going to get the window shapes in. And if you just joined us, by the way, uh, my name is Tim and I'm joined by Tony Harmer. And Tony uh, is a regular guest on Adobe Live. He has done lots and lots of um, masterclasses and other streams, hosted also a bunch of them. So if you want to see more of Tony's amazing work, do make sure to look him up on the internets. Uh, just being him, I don't know. Um, or do a Yahoo search. Ask Jeeves. Yeah. <laughs> Ask Jeeves. <laughs> On your Edge browser, you know. Or for the other people who are joining us, I don't want to say what old, but Netscape Navigator still exists. So, um, no. <laughs> I'm really Netscape getting into trouble today. Netscape Communicator, the whole suite. So yes, uh, right, do check back when you, have, you used to have to do two website designs, one to accommodate, um, one to accommodate Internet Explorer. Unreal. <laughs> yes, Craig, look Tony up in your local library. Under the name Handsome, that's where you find him. Yeah. The Dewey classification code for that is 10112186. The Dewey system. Of course, I'd have some, some more masking to do on there, but just showing you that it's all there. Good. Let's also design a flash intro, yes. You know what, this should have been the uh, thumbnail for the, for the Halloween game show on Friday. Yeah. I could have animated it. Just, wah, flown through put it. Some bits we already have one. We already, I already went for the uh, oh, creepy, man, weird Tim. design. Tim's work, the amount of background work that Tim does on these things, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable, truly incredible effort. Do, 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 do. Just yeah, use animate, you know, Reverb Mike, that was the joke. We were talking about that. 
Thanks for joining us, Reverb Mike. And, uh... <laughs> Ten points to Griffin Puff. Should have kept that selection from earlier. Spinning skeleton above it. But no, that's just silly. Not putting in any um, any uh, death stuff. None of those things. Thanks very much. Any of that malarkey. No blood or death or gravestones. Thanks very much. Cheers. I mean, there's a difference between spooky and uh, scary. Yeah. And this is more spooky. Yeah. Try that. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Because uh, actually, does that match up with my colour thing now? Oh, not far off. Look at that. Just a tiny bit. Anyway, I can work on that. No Kirsty in today, interestingly enough. Of course she is. Yeah. Not heard any mention of the Kirsty. So she just mentioned your Instagram. Ah. Check him out Thank on you, Instagram. Kirstie. At Tony Hammer. Yeah. There you go. Oh. And she says, I'm here, Tony. There With my angry bag. I put my angry bag on um, the other day. I went to pick up my bag and it just looked cross. <laughs> it just looked really angry. I do need this back on and in colour. Because I'm just wandering off doing my own thing there now. So let's just go ahead and grab that. And go to that layer and get rid of it. Now, what I guess I could do here would be to load that as a selection. In fact, that would have been a better way to do it. I'm going to turn that layer off, add another one. And this will freak people out that I'm not naming my layers. <sighs> The way you named the one, Squetch. <laughs> I did. Squetching. I have been squetching. And Oliver has a nice way to remember spooky and scary. Um, this is spooky. Maddie's colors are scary. <laughs> there you oh. go. Poor Maddie. I do love, I do love Maddie. The, the best thing about this still is... She didn't have anything to do with those colors. I was the one who forced her to use those colors. So she, it's not even her fault. She had to use them, you know? Brilliant. Brilliant. And Kirsty says, sorry, busy week. Uh, I have been busy with uh, the Tony Harmer College and art design. Oh, I've been busy, Tony Hammer. College and art design. I was like, you have a college, there Tony. Tony Hammer yeah, College. I do now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And Stuart is seeing okay. faces and everything. You may uh, want to talk to your doctor if that oh. is happening. Yeah, if you think your wardrobe is speaking to you. Call this number. <laughs> Do -do. Oh, actually, we'll keep them. And I am not going to. Well, actually, I am going to break the frame there. Well, I've got a load of filling in to do and whatever. But we're not far off, my friend, at all. Um, erasing the wrong side of that. There we go. Something like that. I've got some fixing to do down the bottom here. Just to get rid of that bit. Oh, I can see the mistake I've made there now because that's actually <laughs> attached to that art, oh, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I'll deal with that separately. 
That's an awkward, um, awkward mistake to make. Oh, because they're on the same layer. You're on the same layer. I accidentally merged oh, that down. I suddenly layer. thought, oh, I've done it, but I'm just going to go with it. I thought well, it won't have any consequences until it does. But all I have to do is go through and just get rid of those little uh, bits in there. It won't matter because I see. I can always just put the texture back in. Again, not something that would have happened to me back in the day because this thing would have been covered in white out already. <laughs> or Tipex. Just in case you're searching for the brand name, what was that stuff called? The market leader in that area was Tipex. Other brands are available. Other brands were available. But that was the one that got used most of the time. No, I don't need that bit down there. I'll find all those up later on. Also, this would have been done with something like a Tempo pen, which I still have a box of those to this day. It's somewhere just over there. Um, those of you that remember them. And the only other person I know who uses them is um, Von Glitchka. I'm going to get rid of that bit. I'm going to keep the last in mind just there. Anyway, how's that, Tim? We're pretty much at time, aren't we? Yes, we are. Actually, you're already over, but we have our buffer minutes, oh, so that's man, fine. Sorry. Take your time. No, that's, that's, that's all right. Take the time you need. Unless it's over 15 minutes and we do have a behind time ban hammer. <laughs> oh, no, we do. In that case, please stop. Uh... <laughs> I actually want to make sure that when that black goes in, it stops the shy of that edge just there and I can resolve that later on blend that in these are all problems you see that you would have had which which these days you don't it's kind of nice to put it in a situation saying right I can't do that I can't you know bend that I have to do it this way just so it's just like the old marker stuff or well, if we say this is for a coloring book then you are finished this is true. No. Yeah. I would actually occasionally, when I've done a post like this, I would actually on occasion colour one in. I think one of my friends, Steve, I think he's got some in there. I need to pop and see him. Now he lives back over here. There we go. Now I should be able to resolve that just there. Let's just go for a bit of paint bucket tool. Let's turn up. The tolerance actually is already quite high on there, so let's give that a go. No, it's fine. I'm still getting a bit of haloing on it. I'm going to push the tolerance a bit further with stapler accident finger. Mm -hmm. I know that's your favourite thing of mine. <laughs> Still got bits to fill in. Oh no, that's a sketch over the top. There's nothing there to fill in at all. I remember watching you in the stream and saying it and thinking, oh, you remember <laughs> my thing. Still trying to find a good German translation for that. Snappler accent finger. Yeah, that's it. Yes. You yeah. just say it in a white yeah. accent and then you speak German suddenly. Most people don't know this. <laughs> then you just drop in a ya ya and a ding dong and then you're good to go. That's it, and everybody thinks I'm fluent. How did I draw this line so badly? Uh, what I'm doing now, by the way, is I'm using the tilde thing to. Uh, that was so transformative. For, uh, Sarah Coleman because she'd been going ahead making brush erasers 
And then when I said, you do know you can, live on the stream, when I said, you do know you can just hold down the tilde key and turn that brush into a, an eraser. And she said, what? And, uh, Unless very excited by that. you're on a keyboard that isn't on the UK or US. Mm, yeah, I was talking work. about that. But, yeah. And the Photoshop team knows about that. So no need to report that as a bug, but I think that has some all sorts of other issues with localization, and that's why they can't just um, bring it in. But I would have asked, would have asked to, um, would have had to ask an engineer for that to know more about it. I just know that it's currently not possible. So sorry. <laughs> you can still use You're talking the, to Photoshop uh, engineers. Hi. Joel, Del Joel Bear is uh, delivering on a promise he made to me a couple of years ago, I believe. I mean, there's the, the other one where you can change the brush mode to clear. That's close. But, yeah. Uh, oh, shift Alt R, I think. Uh, shift Option R, clear. Yeah. There we are. There you go. So if you want to change the blend mode to clear, shift Option R, shift Alt R, it will do that. There you go. And it'll only do that. It won't do that on a layer. It'll only do that on a brush. So there we are. I think, Tim, we're going to have to stop at that particular point, mate. For, um... Yeah, I think it is about time. So everyone, take your screenshots now if you want to call it in. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> I could actually put it on as a, as a colouring thing. If right? you like. You can put it on Discord. Hmm. Or you can finish the lettering first okay. the, if you want to add the Friday, October thingy. Or if you don't. Yeah, I'll do that. Whatever works mm. for you. Well, I think people would love that. Having it on Discord. Good. Unless, not put the tell us in the chat right now if you don't want it. Like, no! And while you tell us in the chat, here is just another quick word from our sponsors. Hi there, my name is Rufus Deutschler, Director of Worldwide Creative Cloud Evangelism at Adobe. I'll be at Adobe Max on October 26th to 28th to host a dedicated stream for Europe, the Middle East and Africa. Make sure to join us for the creative event of the year. There we are. Thank you, Rufus. Uh, that was Fantastic. great. And that is the end of the stream. And yes, they say great piece. Yes, I would like it. And they say nice job, good job. There we Thank are. you. Uh, looks great. Love the pumpkins. Thanks, Tony and Tim. It's just like to use the uh, occasion to apologize about the uh, age jokes. You, you, can, you can feel free to make fun of my age. I'm only 24, so go ahead. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so yes. much for joining us, Tony. It was a pleasure having you on, as always. Thank you, mate. Seeing how you bring the sketch into a line work or... Is it like line art? What do you call that? Yeah, it's line. Yeah, yeah. Line art. Line art. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, and that is that's the stream for today. Be uh, Make sure to be back on Friday, where Maddie, Tony, and myself will be joining you for the spooky... Hang on. Spooky game show. Worth it. And um, oh, Totally worth it. Be sure, if your name is Gareth Hanks, make sure to watch the pre-show. Which is only five minutes. <laughs> yes. Right yes, on. get in five minutes early and watch it. Any last things you want to say, Tony? No, see you Friday. Excited, looking forward to it. Right, all right, well then, bye everybody. <laughs> bye. Take care, everyone. See you later, bye.